<clears throat> Good evening, everybody. This is the November 9th meeting of the Conservation Commission, 9 a.m. Conservation Commission. I'm the chair, Sam DeMerit. To my left is the secretary, Susan Mooney. Uh, to my right is a uh, regular member, uh, Raylene Shippy Rice. Uh, to my to Sue's left is Johan Kirchhoff, who is filling in for Terry Bonser, who can't be here tonight. And to his left is Paul Meliotis, who's filling in for Cheryl Smith, who can't be here tonight. And we may have a couple others coming, but that's fine. <coughs> the, um, you can leave your own names on there. Uh, we do want to make an announcement that we had uh, 19 people uh, take the uh, water sampling kits uh, tests, uh, water sampling, yeah, whatever. Well water. Well water sampling testing kits. Testing kits uh, when we get, handed them out and uh, I guess most of them brought them back. Yeah. yeah, 18. 18 brought back. And then seven right on. And seven right on. Uh, we are uh, the in the, those that submitted uh, those uh, samples to us will be getting reports from the DES uh, labs uh, directly, and we will get a report, a general report, in just indicating how many had uh, what in the water uh, without any specific locations. The, we are planning to do another one in the spring, and we'll probably have a, a um, meeting at the library uh, some you know, possibly in March but we'll get later details uh, you know, further on uh, next on my agenda is the sweets or easement uh, I forgot to print out the, the I will tell you that the um, uh, the easement deed was 35 pages long so I did not print it out. He didn't print it out. I was, I was mainly looking at the map. To, uh, yeah, then there were two maps. One was uh, black and white, yeah. just showing the um, um, part of the property yeah. that for the I can, barn. I can, I can probably print that out down over here. Okay, and then there was another one in color. Yeah. Show the same I don't thing. know if I can get the color one to print out. Did you have a chance to look at that, Raylene? No, did I didn't. The, but what was the highlighted area in front of the barn, so four the, and a half acres? Yes, so the, so the, the out um, acreage is for the house right. and, and buildings that are there. And what they want to do, which is part of the farm easement, is also have an easement on an additional 4.25 acres so they could put a barn or a shed, but it has to be something um, for agriculture. It can't okay. be a swimming pool, it can't be like a plowing. So it's going to be within That's the easement, the but it's going to be a building envelope to include the yeah. barn. So that was highlighting that feature. Yeah. It was a little confusing at first until you, you know you get right into the into that section. Hi, Deb. Hi. Sam's printing out um, sweet certain information. Okay. For the conservation easement. Okay. Do you want to introduce yourself to the viewing audience? Hi. I'm Kimball. <laughs> Powder. <laughs> David Vialli for a hard copy of that easement deed that would be nice to have okay. for our files. Is that the final copy? Or is no, that a draft? there was a lot of um, um, blank blanks inserted oh, okay. for things to be put in later, like dates and names. And 
but what David wanted us to look at was the um, building envelope because mm -hmm. uh, that was a new thing. <coughs> this is, Liz, this is a easement off um, Ledge Farm Road, almost to, to the Eppingtown line. And it's oh, okay. over 100 acres. Mm -hmm. um, most of it's forested. Mm -hmm. That butts the Harvey property in Epping, um, which is under discussion to also be put into a conservation easement, uh, of which um, a couple hundred acres are in Nottingham. The um, Sweetser family has two easements pending, one for the forestry, mm -hmm. uh, forested area, that's a, um, under the a wetlands um, reserve uh, program, and then there's a farm easement, <clears throat> I forget how many acres in the field, is it 30 acres? About 30 know, acres 30. in the field. And that's um, not paid for 100% by the feds. It has to have matching funds. Mm -hmm. The feds pay 50% and then other sources um, make up the difference. And that's what we're discussing tonight um, is the, the conservation easement for the farm um, area. Right. <coughs> You didn't know the password, Sue, for getting on the town. I don't remember the password for town and out again. Um, you, you know he couldn't get on because it was blocked. I had a total of 203 acres of Sweetster property. 230? No, 203.74 acres. Okay. So. And we, in the conservation easement that we supported was on the 30. Yeah, so it's about right. 170 in, in the forest. Yeah. yeah.
Yes, very much. Yeah. And the whole uh, uh, Kennard Hill block is, is very nice. We only have a small piece of it. It extends right into that thing. Here you go. that work? Yes. I don't know why it didn't work for um, Lou, Lucio. Which I think was on page the twelve. E map. You want to look at the map? The document. That's the first um, attachment. If you go to the first attachment. So that's the map. Okay, what else do I On your downloads. And that's the whole easement deed. And I think it was on page 11 or page 12. It was the uh, information on the uh, oh, this is building the envelope. Survey. Okay. The this is the... So by building envelope... Okay, just not. All right, this is the survey or the deed. The yeah, deed. There's two maps, and then the other one's the document. All right, yeah, two maps. Okay. Yeah, right. But I probably wouldn't have the. Every computer is different for a little attachment, so even if they had one here. Conference room one has a setup. Yeah. Which is, which is nice. But because I have Mac, even each Mac is different. Oh, right. For, you know, the little. I, bought my new Mac. I think all the classrooms at the school are, have smart boards. And well, even with. Are, we have different version Macs, and there's different, we call them dongles, uh -huh. that go into the projector system. Uh -huh. And so depending on the version of computer you have, there's a different dongle. Yeah. Every time they come out with a new machine, they, Not compatible. Ice, they don't transfer. Yeah. Uh. So they make their money. I have this. Yeah, I have okay. That. And... Thank you, Sam. So, how much is the main house on? Is that two acres? I no. Two acres. I thought that was five acres. I thought they were covering up five acres. It should say 5.87. Okay, that's what yeah. I thought. Mm -hmm. 5.87 for the house and, and barn, and then an additional 4.72 for any structures that are related to farming in the future. Like future owners. Like future owners. They do want to sell. Do you have an answer? Yeah. Great. So this doc I have only goes up to page nine. Is it supposed to be oh oh no no. No, no it's no, like wait, thirty wait. something pages. Okay. Yes. Thirty eight pages. No. Okay. I think I'm installed. Here's page twelve. Okay. They just wanted us to look at the uh, the proposed uh, 28 acres. out areas in the, in the included areas. Uh, All right. To see if we had any comments about well, them. If that can find that section in the deed, she could read it out loud. Mm -hmm. So is this the envelope, the building on page 12? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, you probably, you probably pin out just that section up here. Okay, do you want page 12? I think it's beyond that. You're in the right area. Yeah, I thought I was just on it. No, I think, no, I think it's above it then. Yeah. That's 11. Yeah. It might have come. Here we go. It's right there. Is that the one? Um, yes, this is it. So this is the area. So I'll oh, print out that picture. Sure. Yeah, set the map here, a little piece right here. Did you have that up? Yeah. On that computer? I can get that up to And what does it have just, just prior to that, Devin? It's prior to that. It's associated yeah. with this property. 
Which yeah. is reasonable because this is all just flat flat. Same. Oh, okay. yeah, well, it's it's forest management land. Yeah, this is the yeah. driveway. Yeah. Yeah. Timber harvesting. Yeah. It's it's road, road, like construction of the property. Really really must be located yeah. within the building envelope, and they I, want that I building want envelope to, to extend here. But all new structures um, have to be farm related. They cannot be those, and so that's. That's really the. Um, so this is what we're discussing. Can right. okay. I just steal your map? I did. Yeah. That's it. Copy it out. Yeah. Yeah. Bottom line is we won't go there. Right. So, so what page was that? Was that page eleven, Todd? Page eleven. Top of page eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Page eleven, Sam. Yeah. Just eleven. You don't need twelve. I don't think so. I think 12 I think had definitions follow. Yeah, just surface on the first two paragraphs are the ones that are critical. Yeah, top of page 11. Those shall not be constructed, placed, or introduced onto the property any of the following structures or improvements. A dwelling, a mobile home, a cabin, residential driveway, any portion of a septic system, tennis court, swimming pool, athletic field, golf course, or aircraft landing area. Those are all not to be constructed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Didn't say anything about a helicopter pad. No, they left <laughs> off that. <laughs> you might be able to get away with it. For a drone pad. Yeah. Is that pond a natural pond? I don't think so. Is that, is yeah, I'm sure it was a farm made. pond. Yeah, yeah, it's a farm, farm pond. pond. Yeah, it's a farm pond. I was surrounded by small trees and shrubs. So it says blank acres because they haven't determined or he did not know? Well, it's what subject to our approval. Okay. It could be more or less. Or it so it's more. currently 5.87 acres, but they may extend it another couple acres? Um, no. This is kind of a gray area. The 5.87 is not in the easement at all. They can do whatever they want. Correct. Right, I'm just thinking, are they extending? So, no, the 4.72 is part of the easement, which will allow building on it that's farm related. Okay. So the rest of it, they can't do anything. They can't build right. on it or Correct. do anything else to it. Right. So I guess I'm, the so part of the easement, 28.43, and we had, Previously, I thought the easement was for 30. Correct, because the yeah. easement also includes the 4.72. 4. 4. 4.72. The area along the... So it would have been 30, 33. 
Why does it say 4.72 here and 4.5 here? Maybe this is just a best fit. Taken from the air. Oh, maybe. And this is the circle. Right, okay. And there's not that much difference. I don't think but it's still carpet stone. So when they said 30 to us, it was approximately? Yeah, give or take. Okay, yeah. got it. So a building envelope area is different than the regular easement. I mean, the easement is a farm easement, so I guess I'm trying to figure out the difference between the regular 28.43 acres and the 4.72 acres. How do they differ? Meaning they could not put a shed right. or something yeah, right. on the 28.43 acres. They, they couldn't do anything, but they could do a shed or barn, something farm related. I'm very limited to what they can do with the 4.73 acres. But they can do anything they want with the uh, five point. Well, that's their, seven. That's the outlaw. Yeah, that's, that's their. The, that's the house where they live. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> okay. Got it. Hmm. Are you still trying to get it, Sam? I mean, it's only, we, I could just read, we could just read it. Um, what's the note number seven? I have to get oh, it at quarter five tomorrow morning. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to stay too far beyond eight. Because eight feels like nine these days. You know how the, the time change? Oh, yeah, I'm not used to it yet. Yeah. yeah. Nine feels like ten. It's funny, the cemetery yeah, is in the, the excluded area. It's funny, the cemetery is in the excluded area. Where's the cemetery? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, think, I see. I would think that I, you know, put, would, I would think that I would put the cemetery in the easement area and not in the purchase area. And just, just to protect it better? Yeah. Is that what you're thinking as far as protection? Right. right. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it was in the easement area, it would get yeah. better protection than... Although, I mean, I mean most it, people aren't going to build right up to a cemetery. No, but I'm just, you know, thinking of how people think about... Mm -hmm. But I think that uh, Rourke Cemetery is... I'm not sure if that's in the easement area or... Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Set aside area. So should I just read? I mean... Yeah. Should I just read this? Yeah, I would, I would say that. All right, so construction on the property. All new structures and improvements must be located within the building envelope containing approximately, and as we have it, 4.72 acres and described in Exhibit B, I guess that would be our maps, 
which is amended to and made part of the agricultural land easement. Structures must be necessary in the accomplishment of agricultural, forestry, conservation, habitat management, or non-commercial outdoor recreational uses of the conservation area. The boundaries of the building envelopes are shown on the survey plan recorded herewith. Notwithstanding the above, there shall not be constructed, placed, or introduced onto the property any of the following structures or improvements, a dwelling, a mobile home, cabin, residential driveway, any portion of a septic system, tennis court, swimming pool, athletic field, golf course, or aircraft landing area. Read um, just before that, that last section, read the last sentence. Um, just before that sentence? Yeah. Um, do you mean structures that must be necessary in the accomplishment of the agricultural? Right. So structures that must, must be necessary in the accomplishment of the agricultural, forestry, conservation, habitat management, or non-commercial outdoor recreational uses of the conservation area. A riding ring. It was mentioned that agritourism would be allowed. Pardon? Agritourism. Oh. People would come and see how your farm works or help oh. you milk the cows or whatever. Mm -hmm. It could even be for parking, really. They could charge money for it? No, no. they cannot charge money. They might, they might um, be able to open up a B and B in the house, mm -hmm. never, which is outside of the which is, which outside. is outside, right on that 5.87 acres. But the easement itself would allow for agritourism. So the question that strikes me is, what is their interest in having that frontage on the pond? I would recommend a setback. I would too. Very much so. If I were, uh, mm -hmm. And particularly, if you look at the topography, uh, members of the commission have, have walked on um, this site. But if you get to about here, Liz, where, mm -hmm. where you see the cross hatching, right. it dips quite. Going down yes, the yes. pond? Yes, yes. There's actually a lip right <coughs> here that you have to kind of walk down, and then it flattens out a bit. I see. Yeah, so some mm -hmm. sort of protection for the drainage so that it wouldn't end up in the pond. Yeah. Um, buffer of some sort. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that was, if they wanted to have, I don't know, a viewing platform, a well, structure to observe. Well, this is for the new buyer. Right. But I'm just thinking if you were thinking about something, I don't know. Yeah. Why it goes right up to the, it actually overlaps the pond a mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, yeah. So a little beach here. <laughs> yeah. But I think they also would like to have access um, that it goes from Ledge Farm Road all the way to the back, so they would have access to the forested area as well. <coughs> Okay, so did you print out the whole thing? Yeah, it ended up printing out the whole thing. Uh, and then Put to the files, though. Yeah. And, and Deb already read the um, yep. section of interest. Okay. So what uh, do people want to do about uh, commenting on this to the Southeast Land Trust? Well, I think our biggest concern, or my biggest concern, is, is the buffer around the pond. Uh, so it doesn't, it's not compromised in any way. You know, there's a big slope right here that comes right down from the driveway. Mm -hmm. and anything that happens um, in the excluded area that's detrimental to the pond will just come right down that slope. So I think that that area needs to be
looked at. Okay. You know, what assurances will we have that um, no. that pond will stay a pristine habitat that it mm -hmm. is and some sort of a buffer? What would you recommend for a buffer, Paul? No, no, I, there was some suggestion when we went up and visited that, that uh, what kind of agriculture would be used. And I think um, Cheryl uh, suggested that, you know, animals of some type. And it, if that's what the purpose of that access is, that, that would bring them right up to the edge of that wetland, yeah. which, it, you know, concerns me too. I think you just have to ask them what they... Um, what the language means and how that air, wetland area would be protected from vehicle or whatever, because it, mm -hmm. it does abut the access. So it'd be pretty easy to uh, have vehicles in there or be using something in that. Mm -hmm. Pretty easy to. But if you're going to use it for like uh, mm -hmm. horses or something in there, you'd want access to the pond. Yeah, for that's water that's and yeah, yeah, and that's if they were using it to pump as a right to pump out water for right. I was just thinking it was horses to go down and drink. Right? Well, they try to discourage animals going directly down to the water. It's better to have it, your pump and pump it to uh, the horses or cows or whatever should be drinking out of their troughs. Yeah, well away that's from the, the pond area. Is that it gets very eutrophic and it gets right. So that that's kind of the reasoning behind the. The buffer. But right, they might want to access animals. the pond for a pump if they, if I don't know what I mean. It is a farm pond. Would they have the right to access it for watering their vegetables or whatever? Whatever. Yeah. yeah so. Mm -hmm. all of those. And even with water collection, sometimes it's dry and you have to. But I I guess I think that the the question about what's use of it we can't it, we don't know we don't know mm -hmm. and that that will determine a lot of this we don't know well, if we can get them to put some sort of safeguards in there so that you know well, i suggest we're concerned mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. you know anything they could tell us about what what it might be used for mm -hmm. But then they and how it would be used. They won't know until the new owners buy it. No. Mm -hmm. And depending upon, I mean, yeah. over the next X number of years, it could be used for all sorts of things if they have access to it. Yeah. Yeah. Liz has a question. Yep. I have a question, which is if they were to put additional buildings in that area, would they also be entitled to put new roads in on the property to those buildings? I don't think that, they, that was allowed. No, that, that, no. I thought that was not that allowed. No, no, driveway. No, no, yeah. no driveway. No driveway. It does say no, no driveway. Yeah. Is it, but there is an existing little road from the farm down the, to the pond now? No. no. It's a trail. It's like a trail. Yeah. It's <coughs> not this, this area here, is it? Not the trail? Or? Yeah. Well, it says like no it. residential driveway. Yeah. So there's no residential. No residential that's, driveway. That's so there could be a, a path. A, I mean, there already is. Was kind of a trail. Yeah. So, yeah, there could be a vehicle path. A vehicle path. I would imagine more by way of um, a dirt or you know unimproved. Path. Well, that's kind of what it is now, isn't it? Yep. Right. And, and that road shows on here, and that's within their excluded area. Let's see. If you look on the map. In part. Yeah. yeah. This is the excluded area, right? Kind of hard to tell when we're, when we're black and white. Well, I had I'm trying to. Because I got the orange and the yellow on the. Yeah, I know. So, almost looks like there's something here. I'm trying to remember that there was a path here. So we've got yeah, that okay. going this way. <coughs> looks like that, there could that, be something. Is that the existing here. driveway there? So this is the driveway in. So that's going to cross the. Yeah. The proposed easement area. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, the existing driveway goes in. So we will have to have a provision for that. Unless they and you can see here, I believe, there's a yeah. drive there. That's from there out. Thing. Oh, that thing. Cuts What's this over. down here? Is it that? Uh, there was a path. Yeah. yeah. A path. Well, it was pretty wide, right? The path that we took around the pond, wasn't that vehicle wide? Mm -hmm. It's fairly it was wide. More like uh, they had it cut, okay. so it was more like just part of the field. And then we walked around the edge, and that one edge was sort of just dropping off. But it was trimmed so that you know you yeah. could go up to the edge of it. But there wasn't really. We we had sort of you know regular shoes on, so we could just walk across the. There didn't really seem to be a path like somebody was using it. Because you could drive anywhere in the field, so why make yeah no, a particular exactly. area? I mean, yeah. anywhere in the field yeah. could be driven on. Yeah, so. yeah. tractor or a truck. Yeah. Right. So. So I have a question you can ask David or okay. uh, Sam. Uh, why is it when they drew this um, uh, building envelope area, did they run the whole length of uh, the long side of the pond? They made they made that uh, building envelope fat right there, which just seems to compromise the. See how it just comes here, and then yeah. all of a sudden it just follows the edge of the pond. And then diminishes. Just, just a moment. I'm still kind of confused yeah, as to where. It, it may also oh, be. Oh, it's like they deliberately the included access. that edge of the pond yeah, in that, that envelope. That might be the access well, question. Well, that might be what if you're a farmer and you want to run your hoses to access. I mean, having access to that pond probably could be. This is an agricultural easement, so it probably has something to do with them utilizing the farm pond, and they wanted to be able to I put think, their gear, their oh, pumps, okay, yeah, they, and if it was totally hands-off, then they couldn't utilize the farm pond for their crops. And I, and if you think about this summer, a lot of farmers um, that don't irrigate got in trouble with their crops. Yeah, and so having some form of extra irrigation, you know, I'm just thinking if they're really trying to entice yeah. to, it to be an agricultural easement, and there's already a farm pond there. You know, that's, you know, might be what they're intending. I mean, even though there's other species that have taken hold, I don't know, there's that battle, but it is. So that's, an a, that's a question easement. that um, Sam can ask. Does the envelope include um, access to the pond? You know, for, mm -hmm. such, for such. Um, or provide. If it does, then what? Well, it's more we need the information just to ask the question and have them explain what. Right, they, rather than try to come up with a yeah, response. solution. They they may have some really good uh, feedback for why they're doing that or somebody that, that. But we should just to fulfill the requirement of asking um, and getting what their thinking is, um, and then we can. You know, it's probably, like she said, it's so that they will have access for the water and that they may have something in mind. Okay. All right, I can get back to them on that. Any other? Got a couple, of, a couple things to get back to them with. <coughs> Then look Are at we the moving on? Yeah, I guess we'll be moving on to the strategic plan. Um, um, we, do we wish to wait for Kristen to go over that with her? Because this is her baby? Yeah. Or? That would make sense. Yeah, we can do that. Then. Okay, okay, we'll just keep it on the top of the, okay. top of the pile. Uh, is she coming tonight? Here. Okay, next on my agenda, I've got monitoring reports. All right, this goes back to the file. Okay. And I'm going to steal it. I've okay. got one. I'm going to sign it. Uh, 
Now, Sue sent out, Susan sent out to one of the uh, Highland subdivision. I don't know if everybody had a chance to look at it or. Yeah, I've got two of them here. I've got, um, I've, I've got Mendham's, oh, okay. and then you also have Highlands. Okay. I, I have the Highlands. Do you want to do the Highlands? Just read it. Okay. Uh, the report. When the Highlands subdivision was established in 2004, it included conservation restrictions on 65 acres of land within the subdivision lots. The restrictions specify usage limitations designed to maintain the conservation values of the area and manage it as a wildlife habitat, thus ensuring the health of the natural community in the area. Members of the Conservation Commission, as agents for the town, annually monitor the 19 properties subject to the conservation deed restriction placed on part of the lots. Residents of these lots were mailed a letter including a copy of the deed restrictions to inform them of the upcoming monitoring date. If no violations were found on a property, the resident can be assured that they were in compliance with the usage restrictions. On November 5th, 2015, commencing at 8.30 a.m., four members of the commission divided into two teams. One team walked the boundaries between nine house lots and the restricted area, and the other walked ten, uh, the, other, the other ten house lots and restricted area. Participating members were myself, Raylene Chippy Rice, Terry Bonser, and Susan Mooney. The monitoring was completed by 10.10 a.m. Only one of the three properties that had been found in past years to have evidence of activities that are contrary to the deed restrictions is still in violation. A compost bin was recently moved out of a restricted area on another property. Oh, on another property there been, has been additional brush and tree cutting from the yard to a wetland. The nat natural vegetation has been allowed to regrow. However, on the third property, a shed addition is still over the boundary line. The shed addition appears to be rotting, and if it were not replaced, the remaining structure would be permissible. That was submitted by Susan P. Mooney for that. You want me to want to read the Mendham's Landing? Sure. Okay. I have a report for the Mendham's Landing Association. Um, they have two properties that everybody who lives in the Mendham's Landing area owns collectively. Um, on October 27, 2015, at 9 o'clock in the morning, Sam DeMere, Raylene Chippy Rice, Susan Mooney, and Paul Meliota spent with John Sassner. He um, is on the Mendham's Landing Association. We discussed the possibility of selective logging on the easement parcels in the near future, the drawdown of Mendham's Pond, and the dam repair, among other things. At 9.15, DeMere and Chippy Rice began the monitoring of Mendham's West, identified as map 5, lots 20, 20 through 2, 7. Miliotis and Mooney walked Mendham's East, map 5, lots 7, 1, 7, 2, 7, 3, 7, 4, and 7, 6. Mendham's West report. This parcel is 23.49 acres plus a 50-foot proposed roadway between the potential house, house lots. The area is forested. No activity counter to the conservation easement was found. Recommendations are that some of the boundaries to the north and northwest are not able to be determined and remarking and or surveying would be in order. Mendham's East report. This area is divided into two areas along each side of Mendham's Landing Road. It is difficult to see the far easement boundaries along Route 4, so this year we entered both pieces from Mendham's Landing Road at the locations of the medallions. The eastern parcel of Bendham's East is 4.21 acres, mostly wooded, drops down to a small wetland, hosting a pair of ducks, in the lower east corner. The parcel was well marked with blaze. There was no activity noted. The west side of Bendham's East is 6.95 acres. It is a steep climb from the road and then quickly drops off to a wetland in the green area to the east. The parcel is wooded. Blazes, granite bounds, ribbons, and stakes were easy to spot and follow. There was no ev evidence of adverse activity on the property. We did notice a recent cut to the north on an adjacent lot. A large hardwood had been harvested and removed this summer. There's a cleared swath of timber cut that snakes through from west to the northeast. 
recommend that the eastern portion be reblazed with fresh paint. And I um, have photos that I can uh, pass around for that. And there are uh, annotated stuff on the back. So the, um, the first three is the eastern portion of Mendham's East, and the other three is the western portion. And then I have damn pictures. Mm -hmm. yeah, What's the surveyor's survey marker? Yeah. yeah. With HN? Where are we talking about? Mendham. Oh, Mendham. I don't know. Oh, that they were doing uh, work. Yeah. Okay. Which was initials okay. meant. Got it. Just a granite bound, I guess. With their spray paint. Oh, yeah, with the line. It's actually very pretty. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I'm just going to. Did you want me to pass them all? Or? Yeah. yeah oh, I've come. Another one's stuck in there. So okay. that's another big damn picture. Here's some more. That's very pretty. Beautiful picture, actually. And that's where they're doing the. Yeah, where the dam, right? You never see yeah. it drained out like that. Oh, wow. That's Okay. Was I don't know, something that was underwater for a while. <laughs> yeah, cool. Uh, okay. I'll move in that way. Okay. Here we go. This is an indication of the. Uh, of the no. town, town line <laughs> between Barrington and Nottingham. And Nottingham. Yeah, there was some, it had been sculpted already. Pirate gold. Yeah. It was pretty, um, pretty dewatered out there, I have to say. Yeah. I think Cheryl and uh, Kristen uh, monitored uh, yeah, the Kimball family forest, but I don't have a report yet from them. Okay. They've, they've completed that? I, I believe they have. As I talked about going out uh, last week, and okay. I, I couldn't make it the day they were going. Okay. And Deb, you're still there? I have a friend. Oh, you, oh you've, you've done friend. Right. I've okay. done friend. Okay. Do you want to do a quick report on that? I could just do a little overview. Yeah. I did the friend property. It's it's a mostly forested piece, about 65 acres, large beaver pond, um, two mowed fields. Actually, one mowed field with blueberries, and the other uh, field was recently mowed after the sheep left. Um, it looked good. Um, there were not too many, anything new. The only actually new thing was the development that's going on to the, I guess that would be the west, north, north. North, yeah, north. The, yeah the, that's the, uh, the white, the yes. former white property. and there's the that property. last parcels getting built, so it's really close. And so the only um, concern I wrote, um, Walking around um, to get to the back um, area of the property was had never been a problem, but now that that piece has been subdivided, when you walk, you're not walking on the friend property because the property line goes through the beaver pond or the edge, which you can't possibly walk. So there is some wetland in that new subdivision. Yeah. Yeah, to the very yes, yeah. To the beaver pond is. Well, South extends. side, yeah. and so if you if we walk yeah, when we do the trail walk, we're on, we were always on the white property, and now yeah, my guess is since that property has been sold, we're on somebody else's we're property when we do the walk. The white's broken. never no, I don't. So, know some, I don't um, know. that may be a concern in the future was, to uh, either get uh, permission or take another route to broken. walk. Yeah, it filled up with and one it could be season, that so. there yeah, was yeah, friends have made a trail on the. 
just a little sluice way on the south side, side of the pond uh, that cuts kind of through the property and that might be an alternative way to yeah. walk yeah, around in the future. The property and then, yeah. yeah catch it on the other I side. mean it may not be a big deal but yeah. the, the fact that you're yeah. walking on another property and before it wasn't a big deal because yeah. they knew the whites and it's never yeah. been an issue so when mm -hmm. when did you um, walk this yeah um yesterday and also 1025 i did a preliminary 1025 is when i did that other and side is that the kimball uh no, no the, the friend, friend. Um, the did friend. anybody go with you for anybody from the no family i spoke or? with i talked with julie and gwen on it so i just kind of did it because it was easier for me to just plan and do thank you okay. and this is the photo that you took yeah it's on another day that i took that but that was a can I write November 2015, friend property? Sure. Okay, and this looks like it's from the, the north side of the, of the beaver pond. As I recall, the, those ledges are... Yeah. yeah. So it would be... Yeah, you're looking south across the yeah. beaver pond. Yeah. yeah, overlooking the beaver pond. Yeah, yeah. looking south. Okay, next on my, any other monitoring reports that we, that's about it, right? We're, we're sending out a letter to the, the person who was still in violation on the, on that one property in the... I wasn't uh, going to. Oh, okay. Do you think we should just recommend and let it fall off naturally? Okay, I didn't get to see it, so yeah. Well, it still looks the same, except yeah. it looks pretty punky. Oh, being ignored. It's being ignored. So it will die, naturally. Probably not worth making a stink over. Yeah, because yeah. they have received letters in the past. Yeah, and we have notified, well, we talked, to, we notified the building inspector past because it was looked like it was across boundary, property boundary. Yeah, the easement. Yeah. yeah. Well, also, well, also the board of selectmen. Yeah. Well, uh, so. the easement, and then the I think it was also across. The, we thought it was across the uh, property line, didn't we? No. Oh. No. Close. But. Oh. Okay. So have we done all the easement walks? Um, yeah. Celia and Kristen, I think, are going to the Oh. I don't know oh, if they Nico. sent set a date yet, but Celia had said that. That would happen in the near future. Okay. Um, let's see. Next report is on the. Um, on November 3rd, uh, three of us uh, were out there cleaning up uh, the one mile of 152 that uh, we are contracted to do with the uh, State Department of uh, Transportation um, as part of the, we do it four times a year and we also did uh, quite a bit on, uh, on 156. So where did you go up to? Because it looks pretty good but I didn't where, know where, where you were. Uh, Sue, Susan went up the all the way from the from 152 up to okay. the square and then back, uh, up down, to the and back, back down to the uh, cemetery across from the church oh, across so okay. I did I did like a big yeah and yeah. then you stop okay well I, I might have finished except I was picking up hickory nuts oh <laughs> <laughs> so, so I have a question soon to be planted yeah. my wife maintains uh, Berry Road on her annual walks <laughs> yeah. her daily oh, that's walks. Nice. She's discovered four tires in the wetland pond and a TV set's been dumped. Oh. So I'm going to fish them out of there. Can I dump those at the town dump without any yes, pay bring for them, it? I would say bring them to the dump. Say that you and explain yeah. what. You yeah. Okay, I'll fish them out this week. They'll see if they have like wet and debris from them. They'll probably well, be ugly. Yeah. Figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe even take a picture sure. before you. There you go. Might be yeah. better to document the fact that this is what I took out. 
you know. And yeah. I, I don't yeah. mind recovering the stuff. I just don't want to have to yeah. pay to get rid right, of it. Right, right. <laughs> but that might be your ticket if you yeah. paid, you know, take a picture of it in the wetland. And okay, good. Then That's a good idea. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe the best thing to do would be to check with the people at the recycling center first and let them know what you've found out there. Well, wouldn't the fact that he was pulling it out for a town commission seems like the... I don't think recycling. that he's going to get stuck with it. The recycling yeah. center would accept it because he's not doing it as a private exactly. citizen. He's doing it as a member of the yeah. commission. Yeah. I brought in nasty stuff from that had been jettisoned on Flutter Street, and they're fine. Oh, okay. No, I wasn't sure whether. I, I do wonder, though, 10 bucks um, why there's not a sign... Is there's not a sign along either 156 or 152 saying this road is maintained by... Yes, there is. Oh, yes, there, there is. is. Who yeah. is it? Nobody notices I looked that. For, I actually looked for it because uh, I was thinking uh, about Coming down 152 is just this side of uh, Guile Road on the right-hand side as you're coming south. Uh -huh. um, and then on uh, 156, it's at the square as you're coming up from, you know, from Raymond uh, going northbound it's yeah. uh, just just beyond the square or the, the crossroads before you start back down the hill yeah because hmm. I was actually looking for it yeah yeah we've signs have been there for a long time a long time and a lot of people don't see them I know the because I see them the, on every the town, on, lo on lots of other roads some the, of the, I haven't the seen town them recreation roads. department uh, director uh, has missed it a number of times. <laughs> so. Okay. Okay. Um, so we did that. We collected, uh, I think, about eight bags of trash and assorted mm -hmm. other things. Um, we found a uh, a Toyota wheel cover, and then a couple looks like a couple pieces to a a vehicle that. Uh, it possibly involved in an accident yeah. and it was yeah. left, just left there. And a headlight. <laughs> I was surprised at the area um, around the new, around the bridge and the river was as clean as it was. Yeah. Uh, that was very nice to yeah. see. I kind of thought, expected that area to be kind of trashy. but it well, it's, it's quite possible that the people that are using the uh, the field, uh, if they park over there, may, you know, tend to clean up after themselves. So uh, hopefully that's the case. And I can know it was nice yeah. and clean. I, oh, well, it's a surprise. Mm -hmm. Would like to mention there is a walking trail from that kiosk. It goes along the river and does a loop out there and then comes back on, on itself and comes back. So it's, I don't know, maybe a half mile walk or something like that. Oh, that's well, a nice probably, walk. Probably, more, probably Probably more than that. It's probably about a mile walk. Yeah. Unless you have a Newfoundland with it. you. Hmm? It's a nice walk unless you have a Newfoundland with you. Yeah. <laughs> Who managed to get into the river but couldn't get back oh, out of no, it. Oh, no, and he's big. <laughs> okay. Um, two of the commission members and, uh, and Liz Katowski, uh, attended the NH National New Hampshire Association of Conservation Commission's annual meeting. And uh, I think we, between the three of us, we attended at least eight of the presentations out of the 24 that they gave. And they broke it down into uh, three groups of eight this year, as opposed to uh, four groups of eight in the past, but the sessions were longer, so about an hour and a half session rather than, well, I guess, probably an hour before. Do we, are those PowerPoint <coughs> presentations or handouts or? Uh, varies. Yeah, they didn't. Are they all available online? I don't know. Some of them are. Mm -hmm. Did you, huh? We got a survey afterwards, an electronic survey, mm -hmm. and on that same message there was a link you could go to. And so for a couple of the sessions that I attended, there were a lot of handouts and even extra materials that weren't given to us. And then for other sessions, there was nothing posted. So mm -hmm. kind of varied. But, Very, um, varies on the presenters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
But it's free access. I mean, it's all online and well, available to the public. It would be an Sam extension. Sam forwarded the or Chris forwarded the email to you that you could probably get yeah. that link. Yeah, I can do that. Mm -hmm. No, there should be no charge for that. No. Because it would be nice if yeah. all the members of the commission could. Well, I think it de depends on the presenters. Some, sometimes mm -hmm. when I go to a, a conference, um, some presenters will say, I'll post the um, right. uh, program and, and you just go to this webpage where the conference is and there'll be a link to my presentation, my PowerPoint. But that's what I was yeah. thinking. If, yeah. you know, if, if um, some of that stuff was posted, we could take a look at it at least and see what was there. Okay, they were the, one of the sessions I went to. They did some. Uh, it was information on the Flanding's turtle and the box turtle and the black racer snake. Mm -hmm. so, Interesting. Uh, Book tiles. And uh, there was one picture they showed where the uh, they had about what, two Flanding's turtles and about twenty box turtles on a. No, I guess those were painted turtles on a log, all on one log, you know. Wow. <laughs> one big log. That's incredible. Turtle party. It'd be fun to see. Yeah. And the, um, the young lady who uh, wanted to do some, uh, who did some work here in the, in the town on turtles uh, is now working for a state uh, fishing game. Good. And uh, Good. she was at that presentation also, so I got to meet her. I guess that's a big push with the, especially the yeah. Blandings, their yeah. next big push. Yeah. 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 Um, Susie, could you put that um, website in the minutes? Um, okay. <coughs> or I could and or I could just pull it up and send it to you. Yeah, but I mean, I think it'd be nice to have it in the minutes. Okay. For anybody who wants to read it, that's okay. Okay. Uh, you want to report anything else on the, uh, the sessions you attended? Or? I, I thought it was really terrific, yeah. the, the ones that I went to, which were one on conservation easements, but. Mm -hmm. um, monitoring conservation easements and some of the pitfalls of that. There was another one on conservation commission grant writing. Uh -huh. That's good. Got lots uh -huh. of good tips. Um, and resource materials, some of which you're probably very familiar with, but they were new to me. And then the third one Kristen and I both attended was on uh, roads. Road oh. oh, okay. Right. So, so actually I hit seven because Kristen and I were on were you and one together? We went together at the beginning. Oh, permaculture. The <laughs> permaculture, yeah. About how many people attended, do you know? <sighs> Probably somewhere in there. So, I mean, usually yeah. maxed out. Oh, yeah. 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 It was yeah. Pembroke Academy this time, and okay. I thought it went really well. Mm -hmm. What they called TED Talks. Oh, okay. Um, so these were fairly short. Um, it's inspirational talks uh, to, yeah. so so they had three different speakers talk on a particular topic yeah. that's yeah. instead of having a keynote One. speaker yeah that's and a then nice everybody idea everybody went off and did their thing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of one of the speakers was the was uh, the TED talk was the one that presented the permaculture okay um, yeah, which actually, which is a breakdown of I can pass the Permanent slide. agriculture. The yeah, they look like they were really going to have good, good talks. A couple of them I wanted to on conservation. Which reminds me, I got on. Minutes. I'll need a, a uh, somewhere in, in the in the uh, during the meeting get uh, voted to uh, reimburse me for the. Cost of the um, meeting and the mileage. Okay. That's sixty-five dollars no, for the. Would it be worthwhile at one of our meetings for those who attended to give a quick yeah. overview on? I mean, some of the talks here are just. I mean, I really wanted to go with. 
I mean, they just yeah. sound like they're so right for us to think about and talk about. Yeah. But if somebody could just I, give I us was a late, late five right. minute review of here's the key points from this and yeah. here's its relevance to us and what we might want to think about, particularly in light of the strategic plan. Maybe you set that up for next time if uh, Kristen can make it. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, yeah. She can I can tag team on the permaculture and <laughs> she and Liz can tag team on the <laughs> on the one they went to. Okay. Next I have minutes of previous meeting. Just the nineteenth? Yes. Okay. I have Do my have copy. Them? Do you have a copy of the minutes? Oh, not with me. Um, I can't. I didn't download. I didn't download them, and I can't get to them here. I keep forgetting that I can't get into the system. Oh, I did see a a somewhere. Oh, okay, down in correspondence, I did make a correction down there on the fourth bullet. Uh, should be Dory Wigan, and you have L O T I, I think, Lottie. Oh, Wigan. okay, yeah, I know it is Dory. Yeah, because you have it, you have it up there. Let's so, what see. page was that? That's the second page. Um, I, I just need to mark up one of them. Okay. And, uh, <coughs> I saw something. Bob, do you guys want sections? Because I, there was oh, a. Uh, uh, when was the Eastern? Mr. Pickman Davis. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you just have to fix that. I know. <laughs> what did you say that was, Sam? On uh, the fourth bullet, uh, the Lamprey River Advisory Committee uh, to, you had Dottie, Lottie Wigan. Maybe that's what they had in there. No, it was, uh, yeah, it was yeah. a typo. Oh, it was a typo. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I forgot when the date of that Eastern Coyote talk was oh, up at the yes. Northwood Library. I don't see it in here. Unless it was. That was on the last page. Yeah, I know that. I was looking to see if I had it in my notes as to where it. When I did it, well, when I went to it. It would be, um, I think it was coming up in October. It was right after our meeting, and we had our meeting on the 19th. Well, maybe it was the 20th. Was this your Sam? Was it no, the next? That's, uh, this is? This is. Oh, okay. Because this is um, NCC, and then you were saying it was like the next day, or I think it was the 20th. Oh, well, how about we put the third week in October? <laughs> Fine. Third week in October. Because I don't remember. Unless I can get back to you if I can find it. I probably have it on in the other book. All right, that's all I had. Debbie emailed me that she had read it through and looked good. Mm. I'm sure some will pick out something that <coughs> the minor, really, I think minor or a name issue or something, but I didn't, I didn't see anything major, really. Once in a blue moon, there's no corrections, no edits. Miss Raylene will probably catch something. Yeah. Gerald will find the machine. Thank you. Ready? That's the best. Thank you. <coughs> uh, as far as correspondence, I didn't see anything in my correspondence folder in there. So you can accept the minutes or not? Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. I'll entertain a motion to accept the minutes of 
Oh. October 19th uh, as amend as corrected. Oh, the minor correction. Yeah. I should. The memorial being capitalized. Was there anything else? Oh, on page? Is that? Memorial Library. Library. What's that? That's a good catch. The page. First page, first page, second paragraph. Oh. Okay, oil oh, yeah, on the top. Oh, yeah. Cat. Small M. Was there anything else you noted, really? Mm -mm. That was it. Wow. Yeah. I had the one about Dory Wigan, so. Okay. Uh, library reads it for me, one I've kept. <laughs> yeah, I've got it all three. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Uh, so somebody want to make that motion? Okay. I'll move, move that. Oh, we second. Accept <laughs> the. October 19th minutes as corrected. Seconded. Seconded. Uh, all those, uh, any further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstain? Okay, the ayes have it. Correspondence, I didn't see anything in my folder. I didn't. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You do so much for that. Mm -hmm. Make me uh, a believer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd put something in there, but I couldn't find it, so I wasn't in that folder. So, you know, I, you know, I, I was probably in there during the. No, I guess I didn't have any. Uh, one Don't of, wish things. Uh, I stopped in here for the senior lunch back on the uh, 21st of October, and. Uh, there was no correspondence at that point either. None tonight. So. Okay. Uh, I'm down to others. Does anybody have anything else they want to bring before the commission at this time? All set. Hear, hearing none, I guess we'll entertain a motion to adjourn. No, oh, not yet. Oh, oh. no. Oh. No, we have to reimburse you first. Oh, oh. yeah, we have to reimburse me yeah. too. I almost forgot. Thank you. I move that we reimburse Sam DeMerit $65 for his uh, registration fee for the um, New Hampshire Association. annual meeting. Yeah, Association and then, of Conservation and Commission. Also, and then also for mileage. Okay. And probably you know how, do much, how many miles that was? Uh, let's see, 42 miles. Of this is what okay. I'm putting down. And probably ought to do the same for Kristen. So everybody had to pay up front? Yeah. Okay, Sam and Kristen. Yeah, we can add Kristen in there. Even if you're not Do you here. drive separately? Yes. Okay. I don't know where she was coming from, so. I don't know. Okay. Well, oh. just then I'll just put in mileage. Okay. $65 for the New Hampshire Association of Conservation Commission's annual meeting and mileage right. for each person, okay. Sam and Kristen. Okay. So we want to, you made that motion? You know, I made the motion. Oh, you I'll made the motion. Yeah. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstain? Uh, I have a couple of expenses. I picked up the conservation map, uh, our copy from Stratford Regional Planning, and had it laminated over in Portsmouth at um, something imaging, uh, infinite imaging, and put it on my credit card, and the cost was $42.75. And then I also um, had these photos developed over in um, Dover, and 15 photos were $5.25 for a total out-of-pocket expenditure of $48. And no cents. So move that Susan Mooney be reimbursed for expenses. Is it second? I'll second. Thank second. you. Any further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 
Anybody opposed? Okay. I move we adjourn. <laughs> so move. Or so agreed. Second. 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 Okay. <laughs> Whatever yeah. we're supposed to do, we're going to do it. <laughs> it's at 8.15 wow, according, or 8.14 according to the clock on the wall. You want those bags, sir?